Hey puzzle friends. Oh, hang on a sec. better. Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you, you're new to puzzles or you consider yourself an expert. And today we're going to go through my entire haul of puzzles for August. So maybe grab a drink and a snack because I think this one's going to be a long one. Right, let's get started, shall we? So first up, um, I'm going to sort of go through things um, in terms of places that I bought these from like uh, all of them are online stores actually because at the moment in Sydney we're in lockdown so I can't really visit anywhere in person so first up um, is my haul from Amazon so when I saw this cute painted desert one from Gallus and I couldn't resist I really like it's all basically photos or maybe postcards of sort of like desert and cactus scenes and even like a cowboy and it's got a few cute little gra like graphics, but the whole thing has a real retro feel, even sort of like, uh, I guess, colors of it. They're sort of a bit faded. So it's got that vintage retro feel. So that was really cute. So I had to get that. Um, also, I'd just like to say that all these puzzles from Amazon, um, most of them come from the US or the UK and I get free shipping because I'm an Amazon Prime member. So if I wasn't, I probably wouldn't be ordering them all. But also, I would order them from Australia, but we just don't really sell a lot of these brands in Australia. They're quite hard to get. I think Gallison you can get a few, but Buffalo Games and even some of the newer Ravensburger, you can't find them anywhere here. So I just buy them from overseas with my free shipping from Amazon Prime. So anyway... Next up is this really pretty one um, from Heye and this one is called, oh, it's part of an exotic garden series and it's called Plant Paradise. And I don't know, it's like almost, I really like the painting style, like it almost feels like it's embroidered the way the details look. I'm not even, maybe it is. Oh, I don't think so, but anyway, there's two others in the series in different sizes and I really, they're on my wish list, let's just say that. Um, but yeah, this, I think this is going to be one of my favorites for sure. Um, then I got uh, these two from a brand I've never tried before. I've sort of only just heard of them. I think I just sort of saw them on Instagram or maybe Amazon. And the brands, I think it's Remarks or Remarks. I'm not really sure how you say it. Um, but yeah, they just had some really, really fun designs. So there's this one, I guess it's Oce Oceana. Um, and I don't know, it's just really cute, kind of little patchwork, fun, funky little design designs. It's probably for kids, but I don't care because I like it and it's colourful. Um, I don't know what the quality is like, so that's going to be interesting to try out. And they also had this one called Love Letters, which is basically, it's all little stamps from around the world featuring I guess different messages or images of love so I really like that kind of cute and even a little pride flag love heart so that's cool so I'm looking forward to putting that one together because I I also really like stamps and colorful things and so perfect um, okay up next is the buffalo puzzles haul so of course um, I got a couple of the new Amy Stewart ones so there's this one and what is it called? I don't know. Birds, Butterflies and Blooms Map. To be honest, I actually don't love maps. I like find them tedious and like really difficult to do. But of course, when I saw this one, it was just so beautiful. Like the flowers, the butterflies, the birds. It's just so colorful and pretty and intricate. So I can definitely look past it being a map. Plus it's Amy Stewart. So I kind of had to have it. And then another Amy Stewart one is this one, which is called Travel Trinkets. Um, this is, I guess, sort of part of her shelf series. Um, and I just love the like sort of gradient color saturation. Um, I mean, this is very America centric and I suppose it is, she's American as far as I know. And this is designed for people in the US, but it's so beautiful and 
I have traveled around the US a fair bit, so this really appeals to me and I like I couldn't go past this one. Um, so it'd be really interesting to see if she ends up doing any other uh, ones for places in Europe or even Australia would be cool. But yeah, I really, I thought this is beautiful. So I had to get this one too. And oh, this one is a 750 piece uh, puzzle from the Cat series. And this one's called Cats and Candelabra. And I don't know, well, it's cats. So I don't think I need to explain that too much, but they just looked, the style was just so vibrant and um, kind of moody and like the fur on the cats just looks so like lush and luxurious. So, that's, so I had to get that. Yes, need, not want. And then I saw this fun one, which is a night from the Night and Day series and it's Beach Holiday. Um, and so yeah, like a cute little, I guess, is it like an Airstream camper van on the beach? And just the colors are really vibrant. Um, I'm not sure who the artist is. Oh, Jeff, Jeff Haney. I'm not sure who that, I've never heard of them before, but I'm sure I've probably done a couple of their puzzles judging by this style, which like I quite enjoy. It actually reminds me a lot of some of Amy Stewart's puzzles as well. Um, yeah, so that was just a really fun one. It's like cute dog and a cat and some cool like garden flamingos. So yeah, that one looks really fun. And then the last of the Buffalo Games ones from Amazon was this one, which this has been on my wish list like since sometime last year and it's just never been available or it's been really expensive or it was sold out. And finally, finally it came back in stock. And this one is the 2000 stained glass aquarium puzzle. Who is it by? Uh, I can't find any information. Oh, Adrian Chesterman. Um, and I just just love the colors and I love that stained glass look. I've actually got um, a couple of other stained glass buffalo ones which were done by a different artist um, but sort of has a similar feel. But yeah, it's just really, really beautiful. So glad I got that one. And then lastly from the Amazon haul is one of, I believe it's is fairly new from the Clementoni uh, Color Boom series. I mean, I couldn't go past the rainbow gradient guys, like, you know. But this one is 2000 pieces, so that's pretty cool. Most of the ones I do tend to be around thousand pieces. So yeah, I'm like excited for this one. I, I don't know, do you think it's gonna be hard? I think, I don't think it'd be too hard. Like. But yeah, looks really cool. All right, so up next I figured we'd check out um, a bunch that I got from an online store here in Australia called Frontline Hobbies. Um, they sell all sorts of things, like not just puzzles, like remote control cars, Lego, toys, all sorts of stuff. So anyway, um, I think I got all these on sale, which was a definite motivating factor in this purchase. So this one was one that's been on my wish list for ages. Um, I think I just never saw it at a reasonable price or it was always sold out everywhere. Um, so finally I saw it and this is an Amy Stewart one and one of her from her shelf series and it's all just candy and sort of a little bit circus themed and some really cute characters. Yeah, just classic Amy Stewart. Love it. Couldn't go, can't go wrong with it really. And then I got a whole bunch of Ravensburger ones, not at all new by any means. Um, so what's this one called? Uh, Majestic Lion seems appropriate. Yeah, this one's just really, just really beautiful. Classic lion and cute little butterflies and feels a bit magical. So yeah, thought I'd grab that one. And then, okay, so I'm a real sucker for unicorns and I can't tell you how many puzzles with unicorns I have, like too many. They kind of get a bit samey after a while, but hey, it was on sale, so why not? So of course this one's called um, something, Unicorns in the Forest. Yep, pretty self-explanatory. Get some lovely magical unicorns, beautiful little, I don't know, pergola building castle thingy. Yep, Unicorns in the Forest. Then next up, We've got this one, which is, um, what's this one called? Underwater Kingdom at Dusk. 
And this one's just a really pretty one, I thought. Um, I'd seen it a while, like, seen, seen it out for a while, but I don't know. I guess, to be honest, this sort of whimsical illustration didn't quite grab my eye at first, but I don't know. The more I looked at it and the more the, you know, price went down, it became more and more appealing. But actually, to be honest, now that I have it, it's really, it's really pretty. I really like it. The colors are beautiful. Um, the illustrations are just really fun. Just really lighthearted. Yeah, looking forward to it. And <laughs> this one, um, so this is, uh, again, where is the name? Funny Cat on Big Ben. So yes, this is Big Ben and it's a 1500 piece one. And for the most part, it's kind of, to be honest, a bit of a boring image, but the one thing that makes it awesome is up in here in the clock tower is a kitty. So of course I had to get it. I'm not looking forward to that sky and clouds and brown and yeah. And um, yeah, and then the last one I got from Frontline was this treffle puzzle. Um, I guess this is called Blue Bouquet. And I suppose like you could say it's kind of a bit old fashioned, but there's just something about the, just the lovely blue indigo colors. They're just so vibrant and yeah, I don't know. I don't normally go for sort of still life, but this one just caught my eye. So why not? Uh, next up, I also recently grabbed a few things from Playgroup, or I think they're also called like the Jackie Winter Group, or at least they, it's Playgroup, but it sells uh, puzzles, part of the Jackie Winter Artist sort of series. Anyway, they had um, a really good deal recently, 50% off, so I, I grabbed what I could. I went a little crazy. So first up is this Ulla von Brandenburg, and it is called Das Was Ist. Yep, anyway, um, it's oh, 1024 pieces, and I'm pretty certain it's round. But yeah, I just, just thought it was really cool and a bit of, I don't know, like it's, it's simple, but I think it'll look really gorgeous once it's done up and just the colors, I don't know. I just love bright, colorful stuff. What can I say? So yeah, grab that one. And then another round puzzle, but this time 3D round is there, I guess, what is it? 540 um, round like plastic sphere gradient puzzle. So I think I saw Karen Puzzles do this and seen it around on their website and on Instagram and I was just like I definitely want that at least to decorate my house or something one day so yeah it was on sale grabbed it looks like a it would definitely be it looks like a lot of fun and it's going to be my first sphere puzzle I'm pretty sure so yeah looking forward to that one and I grabbed this 1000 halftone colors one from their series as well um, I've also got the standard thousand piece gradient and their vibrating colors and also their lenticular um, I think it's called changing colors. So I have those. So now I think I have the whole series. So I feel very good. The completion, completionist in me is happy. Yeah. And I think, oh, this one weighs a ton. <sighs> okay, this one, this one. I've been eyeing this one off for a while. And it's a bit crazy because I literally have nowhere to do this. This is the 5,000 piece rainbow gradient puzzle. Um, it's glorious, I love it. I have no idea where or how I'm gonna do this. I think I'm just gonna have to do this in parts and then join it up on my floor or something. But yes, the hoarder in me, the puzzle hoarder, I mean collector, uh, needed this. It's also really good if you wanna exercise, you know, work on those arms. Uh, weapon, bookend, uh, flower pressing, you know, useful for lots of stuff. Yeah, so uh, that's it from those couple of places. Um, up next, I've got a few more things to show you and then we'll be done. So next, I've got a couple of miscellaneous ones followed by um, a bunch I got from another Australian online store. So this one I got recently. Um, yeah, it's a nice little wooden puzzle and it's from the brand, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Bussy Foco. Um, so they sell a lot of puzzles on, someone's, so they sell a lot of puzzles on Amazon, 
but they actually contacted me and gifted this puzzle to me and arranged for it to be sent. Um, just basically in exchange for me to try it out, like not even, didn't have to do a review, but I'm actually just, when you're seeing this video, I would have just posted a few things on Instagram about it, um, including kind of a basic review of the puzzle and the experience. Um, yeah, so this one's pretty cool. Um, I haven't done too many wooden puzzles, so I'm enjoying, uh, I'm enjoying trying them out because they're quite different from my normal puzzling experience. And often I haven't normally been inclined to sort of buy them myself, but now that I'm being exposed to a lot more, I'm definitely thinking about it a lot more and I'm seeing a lot out there that I really like. So yeah, it's a good chance to try another brand out. Um, and another miscellaneous one I got, this one I've been, had on my Amazon wish list for a while, but I actually found this from an online store in Australia called Berserk, which sells like all sorts of alternative stuff, fashion, makeup, um, homewares and puzzles randomly. But yeah, they had this one on sale, which is the Archie McPhee Glow Chamber. So yeah, this looks fun. Um, yeah, I guess glow in the dark, got some weird quirky stuff. Just look like fun. So grabbed it. So up next is the last bunch from this August haul. And this, uh, like I said, is from an Australian online puzzle store called Puzzle Palace. And uh, none of these are on sale, but they were all pretty and I had to have them, so I got them. So anyway, the first one is this one from Gibson's, which is called See Through Nature. And um, it's just been on my wish list for ages. I like, I was eyeing it off on Amazon, but I could never get it shipped from the UK to Australia. Rude. Um, anyway, but then these guys had it, so of course I grabbed it. And yeah, I just love the sort of gradient colors and this sort of like X-ray feel, and it's just really pretty. So yeah. Um, and I, the rest are all from Cobble Hill. So this one is called Sweet Dreams, and yeah, you know, it's just a lovely cat cat puzzle. And I don't know, just reminds me of my cat Rogue. She's she's a ginger and. Looks like a baby sleeping angel when she's like this too. So yeah, had to get it. And there's just some really sweet details like the fish and the blanket or quilt it's sleeping on has all cute little cat related things like little fishies, mice, birdies. Yeah, just, just really sweet. And then, I don't know, saw this one. Um, what's it called? Vintage Tins. I don't know what it is about it. I just, just really like it. I'm just really into, I guess, some vintage retro feels and this kind of hit the spot and they all look like sort of little tea canisters and I'm a big tea drinker. So yeah, just really, just thought it was pretty. I think this might be new because I haven't really seen it anywhere else, even on Amazon or like other websites. I haven't really seen it. So yeah, I think it might be, I don't know. It could be new, might not be, but new to me anyway. And then, ah, oh, this one. This one is the red puzzle from the um, Rainbow Project series. So recently, like in the last month or so, I finally got my hands on pretty much everything from the Rainbow series, except this one. This one was sold out everywhere, but they had like the green, blue, purple, all the other colors. So thankfully I grabbed those. And then it was just a waiting game of when this one would become available. And yeah, they had it, so grabbed it. Um, now I just have to like, I guess do what everyone else does on Instagram and do them all, keep them out and then join them all together for the ultimate photo photo shoot at the end. So yeah, looking forward to it. I mean, oh, and I was going to say this is by the artist Shelley Davies and all her puzzles are just really cool. Like I love the sort of quirky little vintage whimsical collage details. They're always fun. There's always cats. It's awesome. Um, yeah, just just loads of fun doing it. So many things to find. So yeah, this and the others I'm looking forward to. And then another one by Shelley Davies, which has been out for a while, is her Shelley's ABC. And yeah, uh, this is a 2000 piece one. And yeah, just been eyeing this one off as well for a while. Uh, super colorful, so many fun details. Just Just really cute. I mean, maybe it's more for kids, but I'm a big kid, so I want it too. Yeah. 
So yeah, I don't know. I feel like my my puzzle haul for August is it's pretty cool, pretty fun. Um, very me. I love a lot of colourful stuff, vibrant things, cats, cool collages, just you know, fun and colourful really. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought of the puzzles I got. Are there any in here that are like on your wish list or that you got recently? Or let me know in the comments uh, what's on your wish list or what have you got that's coming in the mail. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all things puzzles. And for more puzzle content, you can check me out over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore juby. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye.